British came, yeah. You see, when the Dutch came, you must understand when the Portuguese came, they didn't allow any other religion to be openly prayed. Even Hindus was not allowed to go to the temple. This is during the Portuguese. Do you know that? But when the Dutch came, they were very different, different altogether. The Dutch is Protestants. The Portuguese is Catholic. Don't ask me the story about Catholic and Protestant now. We'll talk about it later. Right. I have the time. Okay. How the division yeah. came up. Huh? The most important thing is we must know during the Portuguese, they didn't allow anybody to become any other religion except Catholic. That's why you see in Goa, everybody is Catholic. Catholics. You saw now. Yes. They force you to become Catholics. But when the Dutch came, they said, no, mind. Whoever wants to be Hindus, you be Hindu. You want to be Buddhism, you be Buddhism. You want to be Indian Muslim, you go ahead, no issue. But you are allowed to pray in your temple openly. Eh? But the Dutch, uh, okay. But uh, for uh, Portuguese, no way. Even your own temple not allowed. That's why in Malacca, on the same road, there's a temple, Hindu temple. There's an Indian Muslim mosque and a Chinese uh, temple in the same room. See how united they were at that time, huh? So that was during the Dutch. But when the English came, instead of building temple, they want to make people more wiser. They built school. That's why the education came in 1800. But English already in Malaysia or in Malaya in Pulau Pinang or Pinang in 1700. They were in India 1600. So basically, they started conquering very much later from the Portuguese and the Dutch. Huh? So just imagine, 1400, Malacca was found by the Hindu prince, 1311 by the Portugal, 1641 by the Dutch, and 1840 by the British. So what happened after that? The first school was built. Education started during the British and India had been enslaved by the British. So all the people in India, the freedom fighters, what do you think they do? India the freedom fighters are the English or the poor poor Angola, poor Angola, the British capture British what they do is, they break your leg, your ankle or whatever, they make you a slave. And they send to their continent, wherever they have conquered, they make you a slave and you go there and work. In the plantation, in the tea plantation, in the rubber plantation. That is how the British brought a lot of Indians from India to Malaysia. So the first one was Chola Raja, the second one was Traders from Kalingapatana went to Malacca. The third one is the British government brought them here to build the road, build the railway track, build the hillside, and work in a plantation. Look at that. So, this is the third coming of Indian Malaysia. Huh? And finally, when you got an independent from the British government in 1947, we got our uh, independence in 1957, British opened to every Indians. Whoever want to go to India, or you want to go to Malaysia, or you want to go here, wherever their continent is free of charge by the ship. So a lot of people have the idea, oh, my father was fighting against the British, my grandfather was fighting, I heard he's in Malaysia. So they all come. So they came here, they also become, started working in Malaysia, and so on. So this is the fourth generation. So we have the Raja, Chola Raja, we have the Malkachiti, we have the British who bring them as a slave, freedom fighters, and finally, with the approval of the British, the Indians settled in Malaysia. Now you know, huh? So which category I'm from, I don't know. I cannot be the first one, I cannot be the second one. So I can be either the third one or the fourth generation of the arrival of Indians from India. Clear? Yes. Isn't it a wonderful thing to know? Yes. Right, so today I've given you a clearer picture about how the arrival of the Indians. Okay, I will stop here for now. When we go to Malacca, we will start the Malacca history, right?
No, I'm not going to make it uh, a long escape because you'll take eight hours. You want to do the Melaka tour. So we will try to do short one, whichever important places we will stop and get it done. Okay. okay, just let me know one thing. How many of you are vegetarians today? Please, huh? please confirm. Huh? Fully vegetarian, how many? Only today, only today, because we are going to lunch in Malacca. How many of you are fully vegetarian today? So not many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, huh? Okay. Because today we are trying to arrange for you a southern Indian, typical style of India, right? With 